So we're doing this job on 60th and 3rd. Big friggin' ball breaker of a job, right? And we got the area roped off, you know, so that some schmuck don't walk through there and take a wrecking ball between the eyes. <laughs> All of a sudden, this woman, you know, with the big dark glasses, the Bloomingdale bags, she starts walking right through the ropes. I yell down at her, hey, you can't go there, you stupid bitch. <laughs> and suddenly, this big steam fitting bursts, and this enormous goddamn crane crashes right down on her legs. And she's screaming, my legs, my legs. And I say, no shit, your legs. You got a 2,000 pound goddamn crane on. So, uh, you want to be a housekeeper? That's right, housekeeper and nanny. <laughs> and can you cook? Julia Child is my aunt. <laughs> um, how are you with children? Great. I got kids all over the world. <laughs> uh, now, these are just routine questions. Uh, let's, uh, have you ever been in prison? Six years. <laughs> you don't know what it's like. You don't know what it's like to have the woman you love off with someone and you can't do a goddamn thing about it. Some smooth talker with his greasy hands all over her coming up behind, grabbing her, her laughing and laughing, her head thrown back, him leaning against her, this creepy smile on his face, a smile she can't even see. And soon, he starts moving his hands around her, grabbing her, touching her, fondling her, groping. Stop! <gasps> The guy you're talking about, he worked for the Spilano family. Jimmy the Rat Moran. He was an underboss. He was a favorite of the old man's, but he got squeezed out by Junior when the old man bit it. Rumor has it that he turned states a few months ago, and the Spilanos are running scared. Hey, Vince, does this color look OK to you? I don't know. I guess it looks kind of red. You're right. I am? Thank you for validating me, Daddy. I love you. I love you, too. No, it's not red. It's green. Harry! You ever heard of Recall? Recall? You know where they sell those fake memories. Oh, Recall! Recall, Recall, Recall! You thinking of going there? I don't know. Maybe. Well, don't. Why not? A friend of mine tried one of their special offers. He nearly got himself lobotomized. How was your trip to Mars? What trip? You went to recall, remember? I did? Yeah, you did. I told you not to, but you went anyway. What are you, my father? <laughs> Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Listen, I'm already late. Thank you very much. But... <laughs> hey, hey, right hey, 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 come right down. Okay, bring him down here. Hurry. Come on, move it. Let's go get that drink. What the hell is going on? What the fuck did I do wrong? Tell me. You blamed Quaid. You blamed about Mars. Are you crazy? I don't even know anything about Mars. You should have listened to me, Quaid. I was there to keep you out of trouble. Harry, yeah, you're making a big mistake. You got me mixed up with somebody else. Uh-uh, pal. You got yourself mixed up with somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when you were a little kid, I used to take you to the Navy Yard and show you the big ships? Since then? No, it's only been six years. Huh. I just wanted to put a nice memory in your head so you'd know that I wasn't always such a terrible guy. <laughs> Joe, you ever been in love? I don't know. Then you haven't. You're burning your tomatoes. Huh. You'll want to talk. <laughs> What time did you get to the casino yesterday? About four in the afternoon. That's three and a half hours after Sipwitz was shot. Well, that's, that's when I arrived. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Why, what, is he suddenly talking now? He's making accusations? Because I was accompanied the whole drive. I got people that can testify to that. Hey, look, I don't care what he says in his whacked out, deluded mind. Screw him and screw you guys. None of this here is going to work. Angelo Marino, trust me. How the hell could this be happening, Hannah? 
I was right in the pocket with this role. I had it. Honey, you're going to have to come down and make yourself sick. No, no. I had this feeling this time, like for once, I was going to slip through to a character with some layers, with something more than a fourth grade education. Instead, it's the same old shit. Second chooch from the left. Now, come on. Quit putting yourself down. You are a success. Oh, you Christ, want more Hannah, than those please, guys. Not Christ, the glass please. is half full bit. Not this time, please. Who am I kidding? The De Niro's, the Pacino's, the Hoffman's, they're the tree trunks. I'm just one of the ornaments hanging on a branch. Screw them. I'm not gonna let them get to me. I'm not.